What's up everybody and welcome back. Are you ready to have some fun today? We're gonna make ice cream in a bag. So let's wash our hands and head to the kitchen. Here's what you'll need. A large and small Ziploc bag, one third cup of salt, one teaspoon of vanilla, one cup of half and half, two tablespoons of sugar, and three cups of ice. Let's get started. First, we're gonna take one cup of half and half, and we're gonna dump it into our small Ziploc bag. Next, we're gonna take one teaspoon of vanilla, and we're going to put it in the Ziploc bag as well. After that, we're gonna take two teaspoons of sugar or granulated sugar, which is the white sugar, and we're gonna add that to our bag as well, just like so. After that, we're gonna to try to remove as much air as we can out of this small Ziploc bag with all of our mixture. And we're going to mix the ingredients together. So the half and half, we're gonna mix the sugar, and we're going to mix the vanilla. So just give it a couple shakes, just like this, and everything should be well mixed. In our large Ziploc bag, we are going to take our three cups of ice, and we are going to take our one third cup of salt. Dump the salt into the bag like this. Add our small bag with our ice cream mixture. Remove as much air as we possibly can and just begin to shake, guys. It's literally just this easy. So we're gonna shake, 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 shake. In total, you'll be shaking for about five to maybe 10 minutes. Here's what it looked like after three minutes of shaking. It still needs to get a little more thicker, but it's very creamy at this point. So after shaking for about 10 minutes or so, this is the end result. You literally have ice cream in a bag. At this point, you can eat it out of the bag or you can put it in a bowl or a cup. Always up to you. Anyways, hope you enjoy. Come back next time for more cool activities. See you guys later. Coming up next, we're gonna head to the art room with Miss Taylor. Welcome back everybody. Are you ready for some art room fun? For today's art activity, we are going to do some bubble painting. Bubble painting is a really cool method and I wanna show you how to do it. Really easy, really fun. Let's get to it. Here's what you'll need. You'll need some cups, water, detergent, or dish soap, a straw, cardstock, and paint. You're gonna first start off by setting your cups up. It doesn't matter how you set them up. I set them up in a circle, but you guys can do any way you want. If you wanna put a cup in the middle, it's all up to you. Next, I fill each cup with water. Now, I don't fill the water all the way up to the top, but I put it about halfway. After that, I'm going to put a little bit of each paint color in the cup. Just like this. So I have a little blue, and then I'm gonna give it a mix. Then I have a little green as soon as I can get it open. And again, it doesn't matter any order that you put your paint in. Also, if you do not have paint, you can do this really cool bubble painting with food coloring as well. I have some pink. And I'm going to give it a good stir. And then if your colors begin to bleed together from the last color that you had, just wipe it off in the excess water inside of your cup. That way you don't mix your colors together. Here I have some orange, and I'm giving it a good mix as well. And lastly, I have like a really, really faint blue. It might look white, but it's really good. And I'm going to add that in and give it a nice mix. Just like that. 
Next, I'm going to add some soap and I'm going to begin to blow. Be careful, you guys. Make sure that you are blowing out and not sucking in. I do want to say that. You do not want to drink this soap in water and paper. So after you blow your bubbles, you then put your paper on top and you come up with these really cool designs. And you just keep repeating, repeating, repeating until you can either fill the paper up or until you have the design of your life. So it does get a little messy, so be very careful. Especially if you have food color. So I'm going to continue to make the bubbles. And I'm going to continue to lay my cardstock paper on top. Make sure you're using cardstock paper as well. Because the regular printer paper or the regular white paper, it does bleed through and it doesn't hold the color as well. So you just press your paper down on top and you just continue until you find the design of your choice. Just like this. This was a very, very, very fun way to paint. I will say that. So after I get the design of my choice, I'm going to let it dry. And this is what it looked like. Or it could look like the background that I have behind my paper. Completely yours. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you tried it. Up next. Are you ready to make another great treat? Today we're going to make dirt cups or you might know it as edible dirt. Check it out. Let's head to the kitchen. First you want to wash your hands and get some chocolate jello mix, two cups of milk, your favorite gummy worms, and either some Oreos or some type of chocolate cookie. First you're going to take your jello mix and you are going to open it up and put it in a bowl, just like this. Make sure you get all of the content out of the package by shaking and just manipulating the package a little bit. Next, you wanna add your two cups of cold milk. Just like so. And you wanna mix. Now, I normally use a hand blender, but today I decided to use a fork. You can still mix with a fork, just make sure, or a spoon, just make sure that you're a little bit more um, tedious with the stirring. So just make sure that you're constantly stirring because you do not want clumps or lumps. Once the mixture is smooth, refrigerate it until you need it. After you refrigerate your pudding, next take your Oreos, and I want you to cut the cream off with either a butter knife, a spoon, or a fork. If you use a butter knife, please be very careful. We only want the cookie sides. So we're gonna cut off the cream like so. We're gonna put our Oreos in a plastic bag or you can put them inside of some saran wrap, whatever you choose to do, and we are going to smash them. Now you can smash them with your hands like I'm doing, or you can also take the back of a spoon, which I will show you here, and smash them up that way too. Make sure you get them really finely. Now it's time to assemble. So we're gonna get our pudding from the freezer or the refrigerator. And we're going to dump a little bit of pudding in the bottom of glass. Then we're going to sprinkle some Oreo mix. And then we're going to add our gummy worms, guys. And then you're going to just build layers. So after you do that, add some more pudding. Add some more of the cookie crumbles. Add some more gummy worms. Make as many layers as you want. Just continue to add and build. And don't forget to top it off with some more gummy worms. So this is the end product or the finished product and it tastes really great. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys try it and I hope you guys come back next time for some more really cool activities. See you guys later.